So the singer Ariana Grande just opened up about her PTSD by posting on social media brain scans that she actually had showing her PTSD to increase some awareness and the internet got a lot of things wrong and that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is pull different topics from pop culture to try to see what lessons that we can learn. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And by the way, I had a great day, thanks for asking. My beautiful girlfriend Tristan and I and my son as well, we went up to um, one of the amazingly beautiful hiking trails here in Las Vegas, here's some pictures. So make sure you follow me on Instagram Instagram. I do cool fun stuff. You can get to know me. You can get to know me a little bit better. All right. But yeah, let's jump into this. Ariana Grande, um, she posted some pictures. She got some brain scans done. And we're going to talk about that as well as mental health and brain scans and all that kind of stuff. First off, big fat disclaimer in case you don't know me, I am not a psychologist. I am not a neurologist. I am somebody who is just very passionate about mental health. So I do a lot of my own personal research, which I suggest everybody does because part of this video topic is a lot of people don't understand what they're looking at in these pictures and the conversation around mental health as well as PTSD as a whole. So yeah, for those of you who don't know about what happened to Ariana Grande, she was in um, Manchester doing a show. I believe it was in 2017 and it was the victim of a terrorist attack. And I believe over 20 people were killed and 100 people were injured. And it was just terrible, terrible, terrible event, right? And yeah, so anybody who goes through something like this is subject to PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, right? Typically when you think of PTSD, you think of war veterans. Um, this can also be victims of assault or just like traumatic experiences like this. Like this is something that so, so, so many people go through. So Ariana Grande has struggled with PTSD since that event happened. And like she is a super, super brave woman for what she's doing. And I'll dive more into that in a second. But anyways, just the other day I saw stuff blowing up on Twitter. I saw an article from Buzzfeed about this that she posted brain scans on uh, on social media um, showcasing her PTSD. So the first thing that I'll talk about, like brain scans when it comes to mental health and mental illness, super duper duper important, all right? One of the issues is, is that a lot of insurances are not gonna pay for you to get a brain scan to see exactly what's going on. That's why they have, you know, licensed therapists, licensed psychologists, doctors, things like that who work out of something called the Diagnostic Statistical Manual to diagnose different mental illnesses. But it would be amazing, like I'm a big neuroscience nerd, it'd be amazing if more people could get brain scans to see what's going on. So my guess would be that since Ariana Grande is very well off financially, she was able to pay for these brain scans. And I, I'm so glad, I'm so glad that she brought this to the forefront because so many people don't understand mental illness and they think like, oh, just, you know, get over it. That was in the past. Just, just leave it in the past. Do that. Like what Ariana Grande is showing is the biological changes that happen to the brain after a traumatic experience. Like your brain literally changes. Like PTSD, what it does is you have a couple parts of your limbic system, which is the most powerful primitive part of your brain, right? So you have the amygdala, which is responsible for fight, flight, or freeze. Then you also have the hippocampus, which stores your memories. So when something traumatic happens, like what happened with Ariana Grande or the many other victims who were there at that Manchester concert, what happens is, is that event, the sights, the sounds, the smells, everything that happened logs into the hippocampus. So that's when you hear people talk about getting triggered because what it's doing is, is the brain is experiencing that again and then saying like, whoa, 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 you might have to fend for your life right now, right? So there were quite a few tweets of people saying like, oh my God, and they were freaking out and worried about Ariana Grande and saying that she needs to take a break. She needs to take time off. She needs to do this, right? And here's the thing, first off, first off, me, you, not anybody, like except for like a licensed professional working with that person, should really tell somebody what they should be doing. Everybody's different, right? So if you're somebody struggling with trauma, like, uh, you know, I, I, I empathize with you if people are trying to tell you how to move through your trauma if they're not a licensed professional, hell. Like, even if it's me, like I might give suggestions, but I always recommend you go see a licensed professional, right? 
So a lot of people are saying, take a break, take this, da 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 da, right? But anyways, Ariana Grande, like I mentioned, is a very, very brave woman. So what Ariana Grande is doing is something that is called exposure therapy for herself, whether she's working with a therapist or a psychologist or not, I don't know, but exposure therapy is a specific type of therapy that exposes you to your trauma, right? Usually it's in like incremental stages, right? But what it's doing is, it's trying to calm down that part of your brain that logged the trauma. And it's basically rewiring your brain to say, yo, 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 it's not that bad. You shouldn't be afraid of this. So by Ariana Grande continuing to work, continuing to do shows, continuing to do uh, music, what it's doing is, it's calming her brain down to say, listen, you don't have to live in fear. That's why it's so, so, so brave of her to keep moving forward and keep exposing herself to these things, right? Because I would assume that everything inside of her is telling her don't do that, right? So when people are saying take a break and this and this, right? So this may actually be part of her healing process. And I would ask some of you who have been through traumatic experiences or even if you struggle with some type of anxiety triggers, let me know down in the comments below. Like, for example, I used to have a gigantic, uh, uh, fear of like public speaking and speaking in front of large audiences and for those of you who don't know me I was working in a drug and alcohol treatment center for a little over three years And what helped me get over my fear of public speaking and all the anxiety that came with it was doing it over and over and over again And the skills I developed there have helped me with my YouTube channel where I do more public speaking to all of you beautiful people Online, so that is one of the ways that like uh, a form of exposure therapy could help now the other thing that I want to talk about, which is such a huge issue when it comes to the mental health conversation, is when people are worried or concerned about a celebrity, and then jackholes on Twitter are saying stuff like this. They're saying stuff like this, like, oh, y'all are worried about a celebrity, but you're not worried about the people right next to you. Oh, why aren't you out helping uh, war veterans? Why aren't you helping out doing this? Da, 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 da. Like, to me, this is just a, such a massive, massive virtue signal, okay? Those of you who don't know what, what virtue signaling it is, it's, it's saying, hey, hey, look, I'm a good person, you should do this. And some might argue that the other thing, being concerned about a celebrity they don't know is virtue signaling. But anyways, one of the issues that I just have with the internet and social media as a whole is the anonymity and everybody can act like they are just such a perfect person, right? So when I see stuff like that, when I see people tweeting out like, oh, oh, you don't care about the people in your life, you don't care about this, right? Like. They're taking this moral high ground of saying like, oh, oh, look at me. I help the people in my life. And like, chances are, those people aren't doing jack squat. They just like stirring the pot on social media. Like, I'll keep going back to the video I did about uh, Kevin Hart the other day, where like being negative is cool, right? Being negative is cool. Like some people are just there online and their entire life revolves around just stirring the pot, starting conflict. Like if you monitor certain people online or even if you go through their history of tweets, everything they say is negative. So anyways, my message to you, if you're one of the people doing that, like, oh, why don't you care about that, right? Like, like just stop, just stop. Like what is that adding to the conversation? Like, trust me, I get it. I get it and I advocate for everybody to get involved in their own communities or even just start off with your close friends, close family members. But the thing is, the thing about this is, is the reason why I'm, I, I made this video is, it is amazing, it is amazing for somebody like Ariana Grande with millions and millions and millions of followers and fans all over the world, it is amazing for her to post on social media and open up about her PTSD to get the conversation going. like. Think about it this way. How many people do you think saw those pictures that Ariana Grande posted and people were like, oh my God, PTSD actually changes your brain? And think about how that develops empathy for, for the people that they know in their lives. Like maybe somebody understands their brother or their sister or their mom or their dad or their son or their daughter a little bit more just because Ariana Grande posted those pictures. So like I am, like I mentioned, I am very passionate about mental health. So anybody who is out there trying to further the conversation and increase awareness, kudos to you. So Ariana Grande, you go girl, all right? And all the other haters out there, thank you next. <laughs>
I couldn't help myself. All right, but anyways, anyways, let me know your thoughts on this subject down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you'd like to become a patron, get access to our monthly Q&A and some other perks and benefits, click or tap right there, all right? Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.